Let us join together, friends, in the presence of our Father God. Feeling that love, feeling that healing, and the presence, that unique presence, of whatever you perceive your God to be. We give thanks, as always, for this opportunity of meeting together on this pathway for our journey, our spiritual journey of our lives, knowing that your presence is with us at all times. We ask for a blessing on this service here this evening and the words that have come forward from those in the spirit world will give comfort an encouragement for all on their pathway of life. And we now ask you to join us throughout this service. Amen. The reading I've chosen this evening, there's a few words that have been written by one of the ministers within the district that I'm from, that's the North Yorkshire district, and it's by Minister Bob Kitchen. And it's called the Symphony of Silence. The melody of stillness in the moments of meditation, the quiet peace within the heart, the echoes of ideas breaking against inspiration, the voice of our hopes and dreams, the gushing of the fountain of love stirred from the heart by the emotional moment, the rushing sound of symphony, the happy ripple of a smile upon a baby's tuneful lips, the pulsing heartbeat of love in the eye of a mother. The chorus of the snowflakes as they fall through the stillness of the night when all living things are in retreat. The merry laughter of berries as they ripen or the explosion of the bud as it bursts into the rose. The whisper of a flower opening to the sun and the song of a golden leaf as it forsakes its home. To drift to earth, supported only by the cradle of the breeze. The gentle rush of clouds hustling and blending together. The piercing shaft of moonlight striking and bouncing upon the wave's crest. The Wurlitzer of worlds as they spin in the velvet of the heavens. All are music to the ear of him who composed the symphony. And first of all, I think we'll start with the music as Iris said, please take note of the music. Not that you can answer me, but I hope you enjoyed that music. I hope it did something for you, within you, because it certainly does for me. That piece of music was written by a gentleman. Those in the United Kingdom will probably have heard about this piece of music, but those from overseas may not have. And that piece was written by a, a gentleman in his 80s who was a, a retired music teacher. And he lived at home still, but he was suffering with dementia. And just as a little exercise, his son said to him one day, I'm going to give you four notes. And I'd just like you to make me a tune from that four notes. And if, if you notice at the beginning, 
he started with his four notes. And this went out on the news programs about this gentleman writing this piece of music. And the BBC Philharmonic Orchestra were inspired by the music that he'd composed. And so they got together and as a surprise for the gentleman, they made that into a, an orchestrated piece of music. And he was absolutely thrilled. And so to raise money for dementia, he put it on YouTube, Google Music, and it's for sale to raise money for, for dementia. But I feel that music, well, music to me, and I hope uh, maybe some of you will feel the same way. Music is very much part of my spiritual journey. And maybe you'll agree with me also that our journey we're on is a very spiritual journey. And we don't know what, what is around the corner. You may not be a musician, you may not be able to read music, but I know each of you will be able to hear the music. Now, some may be saying that my hearing's not very good, but music is a vibration of sound. My voice is a vibration of sound. So is yours. And it's how we play the music, how it sounds when we listen to it. Because music is just made up of seven notes, seven basic notes. And those composers that write it blend those notes together to make a particular music. There are those notes which we call accidentals. Because that note, that single note can change. It can be what we call flat. It can be sharp. It can be double sharp. It can be double flat. And it has a different tone within it. And we don't speak in the same tone, do we? I know I certainly don't. Sometimes my voice can get quite loud sometimes. And sometimes it can be very, very soft. And there are different emotions within the sound that we create. And the music and the sound of our voices whether we're talking, whether we're singing, has a vibration. We are using our senses when we hear the sounds from each other and from the music. And that particular music, piece of music, when I first heard it, it just filled me with such emotion, but not a sad emotion, just an, a really uplifting emotion, if you can understand that. And it's, it's very similar to me, and I, I did say in the prayer, however you perceive your God to be, when I join together in prayer myself, I get that emotion. It's like linking with an energy of beautiful, beautiful music. And it fills me with such joy and knowing and love that God is around me, just like a piece of music does. And I believe it's all part of that journey. Because what it's doing 
it's feeding us within and we're feeding that from within us as well and it's building that which with it is within us building our soul that journey that continues as we know it continues through to eternal life let's imagine that the whole of us here this evening would be one of us by looking at the participants if we all blended our music together let's imagine ourselves as that as that beautiful orchestra you can be part of the orchestra your orchestra of life the word symphony means a long elaborate musical compo composition for a full orchestra but each member of that orchestra have to play their part just like we have to play our parts and sometimes it's very difficult to blend our notes, our sound, and for it always to harmonize. You might have listened to that piece of music before the service and thought, hmm, it doesn't do anything for me, doesn't this? Which is absolutely fine. Because we can't all be the same. We can't all blend with the same vibration. We are all very different, but we're all on a journey. And sometimes we have situations in life like that, don't we? Where we find ourselves in a situation which we find a little unpleasant for us. But we have to be as spiritual as we can to make our way round that situation. Don't let it rise within us so that we play the angry tune or that unpleasant tune, but just find the right harmonious sounds so that we can move forward. And maybe move, shall I say, move our separate ways. And it's like the reading said, there's not just the vibration of sound that we can hear. There's the sound of nature, which is absolutely beautiful and moving, just as moving to me as a piece of music. And I like all sorts of music, but my particular love is classical music. And I like all types of nature. It doesn't matter whether it's rushing waterfall or trickle, trickling stream or just a weed or the grass. There is so much beauty about. And as the reading said, the rustling wind, the silent snowflake. But it brings such joy, doesn't it? I know last year when we had that outbreak of snow and we couldn't go out, we couldn't go out because uh, we, we, we can't go out because of the situation, but it didn't bother me seeing the snow. It was absolutely beautiful and I did resist. I did go out in it and just couldn't, couldn't wait to put my feet in it. Um, and make my footprints because it gave me such joy and vibration. And it's the same with the flowers, the trees. At the moment, everything is coming into bud. Everything is opening up. Like the reading said, the rose bursting out into its bloom, bringing so much. And the way we deliver our conversations, the way we deliver 
ourselves is a tuneful musical part of our tuneful musical journey and the nature sings to us without us even trying to do it it's like a multitude of sounds the rain the trees the river and as it said my favorite line in there is the smile from the lips of a baby and the beating heart of the mother with the joy that she can see you can feel the love i've seen a picture today on facebook of a little boy and all he's doing was smiling and it gave me so much joy because it was i couldn't hear the vibration but i could see that smile And as nature is very different and as we are different, sometimes we might have that disharmony. Sometimes things are difficult. As a musician, when I sometimes have a piece of music put in front of me, I think, oh, that's an awful lot of black notes. I don't think I'll ever cope with that. What shall I do? How, how can I cope with it? But once I break it down and practice each bit, then I can blend with the others that we play with and make that sound to bring forward to others. And part of my working in the community, community as part of the ministership, I, I go with the orchestra and play to people with dementia and in old people's homes and in the hospitals to give them some joy and some love and i class it as part of my work in the community so i ask you not to give up within your journey within your orchestra if that's what we're talking about this evening. Never mind if we have some disharmony. Reminds me of a saying that we, a quote that we have inscribed above our church door. Our church is the oldest purpose built spiritualist church. And in the lintel above the door is carved, man know thyself. And that quote means, well, in the dictionary, it says, it's a Pythagoras quote, then thou shalt know the universe and God. And I'd like to share a few words with you that I was inspired with a few weeks ago. Think of the journey forward like a piece of music that you have not heard before. Each passage of sound has something different. Some things we can absorb and grow from and allow it to flow. Some may join within your system, jar within your system. Some may raise excitement, joy, or even sadness. This is the pathway of life. Passages of rhythms which pass before us part of your journey of learning, development, creating a greater understanding of self-worth, building the knowledge within, some things we share with others, some we accept from, from others, lessons we learn, mistakes we make, but do not fear go forward with whatever melody harmony, or disharmony 
and we will guide you. Continue on your spiritual journey, friends, shaping your life and co composing your own symphony. Join together, friends, once more and give thanks for this time that we have spent together in this which we class as a community, a gathering together of like-minded people, learning on our journeys. We give thanks for all that we have received this evening, the message from the spirit world, asking us to move forward on our spiritual journey with love, with laughter, with joy, of the vibration of sound in everything that is within our life. We give thanks once more for those that have been able to come forward to the individual and know that if you may not have received, like many of you have not received, the communication from your loved ones. No, they are just a thought away and they are with you as you think of them. We give our thanks once more. Amen. <laughs>